This is Rampage for the NES, a 1988 release from Data East adapted from the 1986 Midway arcade game of the same name. The goal of Rampage is pretty simple. You are a giant monster. There are buildings to destroy. You take them down by going on a rampage. <coughs> And once all the buildings are laid to rest, you move on to the next level where you repeat the whole process all over again. Along the way, you'll have to fend off against the army who will come at you with an assortment of vehicles such as helicopters, tanks, soldiers shooting out from windows, and much, much more. But not that more. Taking the abuse is a strain on your health, which can be replenished by eating humans and whatever foods you may come across. But be mindful of what you eat, because some food is bad for you. Because Rampage is a two-player game, you'll only have two monsters to play with. Giant Ape George and Giant Lizard Lizzie. Giant Werewolf Thing Ralph is sadly omitted from this NES version, but you could find him in a bunch of other versions of Rampage, the 2600 and Sega Master System ports among others. While Ralph's appearance might feel like a loss superficially, the truth is you won't miss his presence here in the slightest. Especially since all the monsters played pretty much the same way, and the only reason you had three monsters to begin with was so you could have three players brawl it out in the arcade, and since most versions of Rampage at the time only allowed two-player gameplay, well, you could sort of understand why a monster had to be excised from this version of Rampage. Although in fairness, the variety would have been nice. Control in Rampage is actually pretty good. Though the button mapping is that horribly reversed button scheme, you know, B button to jump, A to attack, grrr, it's fairly functional and nowhere near as abhorrently terrible as I expect it to be. Looking back, I think out of the three home versions of Rampage in my possession, this probably has the best control. For one thing, it's far easier to grab onto the side of a building in mid-air, and it's not as much of a struggle to climb buildings in general. The 2600 version, and even Master System version to a lesser extent, I had to find that sweet spot that would let me climb the building. Here, not so much. It works rather well. In general, the overall gameplay of Rampage has been properly retained in this NES conversion. It's a generally faithful adaptation of the arcade game with a few changes. Mostly the addition of bonus levels where you smash a building looking for food, and this map screen that pops up every so often. But other than that, it plays about as well as you expect a game of Rampage to play. You wreck buildings, you wreck tanks, you sustain damage, you shrink, you grow, you get brought in via helicopter. A fun time to be had by all, until you're hit with deja vu and it feels like you've done this before, because the game doesn't change all that much aesthetically, or in terms of gameplay for that matter. There's close to a hundred levels or more, and if you manage to blow through all of them, you get a minor congratulatory message. Whether you're able to last the whole way is entirely up to you, but if you got a buddy to play with, the fun factor does increase somewhat. In terms of graphics, Rampage looks fairly decent, even with a good chunk of flicker prevalent at times. The monsters are relatively small, but are otherwise quite menacing with some minor comical effects. Unlike the arcade original or the Master System version, however, there's no sad face when these monsters are close to death. It's a minor detail that's missing, but it's one that gave the game character. And while the various buildings and cityscapes look pretty decent, it gets to a point where all the cities lack identity and distinctiveness, meaning it starts to look the same after 20 levels or so. Though to be fair, this was an issue with the arcade original, as well as a good majority of conversions to other platforms. Rampage sounds... it sounds average. You've got all the 8-bit rumbles, crumbles, and explosion sound effects, and they sound pretty decent for the most part. There's the background beat that plays in the background, and it's... Uh, meh. It's okay at best, not much else to say. The sound is good enough to suit the material, but that's about it, really. To make a long story short, Rampage on the NES is a rather nice conversion of the arcade game. It plays well, looks pretty good, and while you're a monster short from the full trio, it's still worth checking out if you're into good old monster bashing fun.